Hello again. Today's video will cover some questions and quick tips uh, recently asked by uh, users of EasyStamp. One question we got was uh, how to generate a report showing only stamps that the user had inventoried that are uh, valued over $25. And the second question is uh, was there a quick way to inventory a stamp? So today I'll be working with the uh, Yugoslavia database, but the process is the same for uh, any of the databases in EasyStamp. So let's go over the first question now. That's how to generate a report uh, where we filter by value. So we're going to use the grade search report. But first I'm going to show you a report uh, of what is in the collection I've inventoried so far. So I'm going to run a quick stats report. and that just shows you all the stamps in there regardless of of the value so now what we're going to do is we're going to run uh, another report called the grade search report and in this what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're selected all the grades and we're going to choose single grade net value that is greater than and the value of 25 and we click on find and show and there they are, all the stamps in this collection that are worth more than $25. So it's fairly simple. Um, now we can do the same thing, uh, and you can actually do more details if you like, but we can do the same thing using the Power Search. So what we're going to do is going to go back to the Search menu, click Power Search. And in this uh, search, what we've done is we've selected primary fields and the field will be net grade and the operator will be greater than or equal to and the search value will be 25 which is uh, what that user had asked for and we click on find and show and there it is again the same same kind of report showing all the stamps that are worth more than $25 now um, if you notice the the stamps that are worth more than $25 have been highlighted in uh, a bright green and that's done through a preference setting. So I'll show you how you do that. You go to the Options menu, Preferences, and then in the uh, Display uh, tab, what you want to do is click on this box here which says Show High Currency Values in a Different Color on Report Views, and then enter the Minimum High Currency. So for this particular uh, uh, video, we typed in $25, but you could have typed in $100, $1,000, or whatever you want your minimum uh, value to be. And then what you do is you go to the Colors um, uh, tab, and over here there is a High Value Color where you can change the background of the cell and the color of the text. So in my case, I left it at a... Uh, kind of a bright green with white text. Okay, so now let's go on to um, uh, the second question, which was to show you uh, how to quickly inventory stamps. So the, one of the fastest ways is you simply just bring, it, the, bring up the stamp that you want. And once it's displayed on the screen, you simply right click on the grade of your stamp. So let's say we had this stamp as uh, Mint Never Hinge Very Fine. Just select it, right click on it, and click Add and Save, and you're done. So the green check mark shows you that the stamp has been inventoried. This is the grade that you inventoried. And then another way to quickly add a range of stamps is to run uh, any of the reports. So let's do a want list, for example. So I'm going to go to Reports, Want Lists, and I'm just going to say show me everything that I'm missing between numbers 1000 and 1050 and there's my list so if I want to quickly add a, a range of stamps just drag you know select the stamps that you want and then you can either do uh, what I recommend that you use is use the rapid entry icon right here so click on that and let's say we had all these stamps is mint never hinge very fine it automatically defaults to a quantity of one click begin and voila we now have those stamps inventoried so if I run a quick stats report we can scroll down and see that we just added stamps numbers 1000 to 1021 which is what I had selected okay well, I hope this, uh, these tips help you, and if you have any other questions, please let us know, and enjoy.